Buyer's Guide is brought to you by Change Cars. We've introduced a little function on our website. You go there to sell your car. You upload any car that's got 15,000 kilometers a year or less average mileage, and then we market it for you to 400 plus of our quality franchise dealerships. The dealerships are loving it. There's a shortage of stock. The buyers are loving it because the type of prices they're getting is absolutely fantastic. And it's a free service. There's free no service. subscription or anything to that. There's, you, don't even, you don't pay to register. You upload your car showing the number plates and no charge whatsoever. The dealerships will interact with you directly. And as I said to you, you're dealing with the best dealerships in the country on our site, and we're really proud of that. Today, joining us in studio are two familiar faces on Buyer's Guide, Fazana Shamu and Michael Pashut from Change Cars. How's it, guys? Good to have you back here again. Thanks for having us. Good, okay, we're gonna kick off things with a question from Kulisiwe, who's 28 years old and lives in Mpumalanga. She bought a Kia Picanto in March of 2021 and have since only used it about five months because she keeps having problems with it. She's considering trading it in for a 2016 or 2017 Ford EcoSport because it fits her budget of 3,000 rand a month and she would love a compact SUV. Now, Fazana, we're gonna start with you. Would, would you recommend the EcoSport? And if not, is there something else you could throw into that? I would recommend the uh, EcoSport, but in terms of her budget, her budget is quite tight. Yeah. And she's gonna get a car with high mileage. Um, in her budget also, I wonder if she considered that the when she trades in, did she consider the shortfall that's going to be added onto, onto her, her new car? If she's, from if the she's previous financing one. the Kia yeah, if she's, now, if yeah. she's fi- most financing probably is it. by the sounds of things. Yeah, um, I did uh, pick out some options. I looked at the Haval H1, Suzuki Vitaro, Ignis, mm-hmm. um, maybe a Kia Sportage or Mesa CX3, but these are quite older models, but in a 20, she said 2016, 2017 yeah. range as well, but they all have high mileage. Let's ask Michael. Michael, your thoughts on this? I'm in full agreement there. I had a look on the website. You know, she indicated a budget of 3,000 Rand. That's a car roughly 140,000. For that kind of price, minimum mileage, 120, 130, you're going backwards. I also think it's important to mention that she subsequently told us that the car is now running. So maybe the car just had a few gremlins. 2019, highly unlikely to have any problems with it. If I was her, honestly, I would keep the vehicle. Keep the little picanto. Absolutely. Nice little car, three years old. Why would you want to go backwards? Mm. And there's not too much that does go wrong with the picanto. You know? So maybe she's had a, li- like you said, which car doesn't have a few niggles? And it's a second-hand vehicle. Of course. You know. I feel sorry for a, a little bit of bad luck, but the fact that it's running now, keep it and the bad luck's behind you. You know, sometimes, you know, these cars can give issues. Uh, and she said she had a couple of problems. Obviously, she hasn't gone into in-depth. Yeah, what but I think you make a very, very important part th- uh, point there, Fazana, is the fact that you bought a car a year ago. Yeah. Mm. If they're going to go and trade that in on something else, Michael, how long does it take to, to sort of get to a break-even point? Not less than 24 months, and that's yeah. optimistic. I would so yeah. closer to 36. Roughly minimum two years. Correct. And only Correct. then you're going to clear your debt on that. So mm. for argument's sake, if the car is worth, let's say it's worth 100,000, and that's roughly where, where they sort of go. Settlement's going to be higher. The settlement you have to pay the bank is going to be like 120 grand. So you're going to have to actually throw in money, or what they do, a lot of dealers will take that difference and offset it on a new car. So now you buy a Ford Echo Sport that you may find, and as Fazana quite correctly said, you're gonna find one that's 120, 150,000 kilometers on it. Mm. You're now gonna load uh, money onto that finance package. It's gonna cost you more. You're actually paying more than the car's worth. In five years time when you come to sell it, only then are you actually gonna get your money back or not even get your money back, but but just break even. We don't know as well if it's five years because these days they give you a 72 month contract as well. Even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Yeah, that's even longer. Mm -hmm. And you know, and and like you said, Fazana, she's a bit on a bit of a tight budget here. Mm. So the possibility is she's probably taking it over 72 months. Change Cars, the platform buyers trust. Change Cars has introduced Beat My Quote, where we help ensure you get the best price and best service on your new vehicle purchase. You simply upload the best quote you've received on any brand new vehicle of choice and Change Cars, through our approved dealer partners, will beat it. Visit changecars.co.za and hit the Beat My Quote tab and see why there is simply no better platform available.